have 7.2 applying the quadratic formula decimal answers. So I still have to have it equal to zero before I can apply the quadratic formula. And in my first example, it is not equal to zero. So I do have to move some terms over to make it equal to zero. Now I usually want to keep the x squared term positive because it is much easier to simplify a fraction that has a positive denominator. So I want to keep this 9x squared where it is, therefore I'm going to move these two terms over there. So when I move them over, they change signs. So this becomes 9x squared minus 2x minus 2, and since both terms moved over, that means nothing would be on the right-hand side. And then from here, I'm going to identify a is a positive 9, b is a negative 2, and c is a negative 2. So let's plug it into the formula, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 a c all over 2 a. Now in this case, they do want decimal answers, so I can and will type the entire thing in my calculator. But I have to type them individually. I cannot type this symbol in the calculator. So I'm going to do the plus first, and then I'll go in and do the minus. So negative of negative 2 plus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 9 times negative 2 all over 2 times 9. And the first answer, that is not a decimal, so let me hit the double arrow. And it gives me 0 0.5. Nine five. It will tell you how many decimals to round to. I'm going to go ahead and round to the third decimal place. If it had told me to round to the second decimal place, it would actually be 0 0.60 because the 5 would change the 59 to a 60. Now, we're going to do the same thing again, but this time with the minus in the middle. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm just going to change that plus into a minus sign. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Clear. Let's go copy again. Hit enter. Second, go to the front. And make sure my cursor's not there. Make sure it's there. And then hit the minus. And I'm going to hit enter. But that's not a decimal, so I'm going to hit the double arrow. And I get negative 0 0.373. And so these are the two decimal answers that we get. So when they ask you for decimal answers, it's a lot nicer because you could just plug the whole thing in the calculator. But if they say exact answers, then you have to do the pieces. So this problem is very similar. It does have to be equal to zero, so I'm going to move it over. It will become a negative one, and then there will be nothing left on this side. So a is two, b is negative eight, and c is negative one. So negative, negative b, plus or minus, b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. And so again, I'm going to plug both of these in the calculator. So fraction negative negative 8 plus square root negative 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 1 all over 2 times 2. And I'm going to put the double arrow here so it can automatically change it into a decimal. I get 4.121. Then I'm going to go back and copy, go to the front, and put a minus sign and hit enter. I get negative 0 0.121. And so then these are the two decimal answers there.